In this video, we'll go over the setup for basic elements needed to process international shipments. Once you're set up, Starship will do most of the work for you. Let's start with preferences. First, configure line item settings so that Starship can use both the line item detail from the source interface and the Starship database to get the data for all required international fields. Next, scroll down to the international preferences. You can enable the setting for adding freight to the commercial invoice. Here you will also configure AES direct email response settings so that Starship can retrieve the ITN from the AES response email and populate the ITN on the ship screen. Enable and enter your POP3 info to allow Starship to search the provided email account for an ITN number response email from AES. The next step is to set up your line items so that required international fields are populated when you ship those items. International data for items that are saved to the Starship database can be set up in Maintain Inventory Items. If you don't want to set up your items individually, you can bring international data for your items into Starship when you import an order. Do this by mapping Starship international line item fields to fields in the source interface. If your source interface doesn't have these fields for you to map to, you can set fixed values in Starship. Under Shipment Fields, select the Line Item folder and then the Commodity Info folder. Just to note, to map or set fixed values for international fields at the shipment level, select the Shipment folder and then the International folder. All of this is done in Customize Interface for the document that you're shipping against. Another way to add and save international detail for items is to add it on the fly when you're shipping. Expand the line items section, edit the line item, and set values under International. If you have your line item preferences enabled, Starship will save any detail you add when you process the shipment. Finally, let's set up your international documents. So you'll need the Starship connector to print to local printers. And if you haven't done so already, add your printers and associate each one with a connector. You'll need to set up at least one printing profile before you can enable and configure international documents. Set up the printing options for each document you want to print. To use paperless trade documents, enable the settings under each carrier. This is also where you set up the request for specific international documents to be returned from the carrier when you process a shipment. For more help with international setup, see the links in the description. Thanks for watching.